Okay, step three of the type tool document. We are going to complete this box where it says create outlines, ungroup, and rearrange. So we're gonna start with our text all in a line, and then we are going to split it up and resize it and move it around in individual pieces like this. So let's start by typing our name. So we will click on the text tool, which is T, and then we will click in this box and we will type a word or your name. So I am going to type my name. Then I am going to select the type with the selection tool. There will be a box around it. I am on the selection tool, the black arrow. There is a box around the name. If you right click, you can create outlines. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see that now there are there's a red outline around my name. And then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to ungroup. If I click off of this and click on it, now I can click on each individual letter and resize and re distribute each individual letter. So I can rotate each letter separately. I can resize. I can edit my font the way that I want it. So this is really important when you want to do text design and you would like for a little bit of creativity in how your name is written. The one thing to note is after you create outlines, this is no longer text. It becomes an object that has been created with vector points, anchor points, and connected together with paths, and it's no longer text. So I can't go back and change the font, and I can't go back and change the letter. So once you have created outlines and ungrouped, these become just random shapes that happen to look like letters. So, but I can change the colors individually. And I can even flip them so that they are, um, they're done differently. So we can put them, let's put this one on top of that one. So you can do a lot of nice text design, but you need to get your font first. So before you split it all up like this, you need a font. So let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to use my cursor, the up arrow, and I'm going to move it up to the top so that I can get it out of the way. And I'll show you guys how I could change my font next time. So I'm going to go through the process. I'm going to click. I'm going to type the name. I'm going to select it, go up to the top and change my font. Let's use Broadway, and then I'm going to make this bigger so that you guys can see it very clear. Now you'll notice that this is still text. It still has a red line under it. I can still double left click, and I can get a cursor, and I can change it, right? So I can still change the font. I can still change everything that I need. When I right click and I create outlines, while it's selected. So first, you make sure it's selected with the black arrow, the selection tool, with the box around it. You right click, you create outlines. Once I create outlines, it is no longer text. It becomes a path that is filled in with a stroke and a fill, just like any other shape in Illustrator. I can still change the color, but this time it's going to change the color of the entire word and it's still grouped together. So if you want to work with the letters individually, you have to then right click, ungroup, click off of it, click on the letters, resize them, and then change them individually. So try to resize them, rotate them layer them differently. There's some fun things that you could do with your letters when they are all split up. So um, some letters you will notice um, will even have um, 
like let's do a lowercase i that has two shapes and it's not all attached. So if I was to take a text and draw an i, a lowercase i, and then I'll make it big so you can see. The i has this separate circle on the top. If I right click and create outlines, and then I right click and ungroup, I can move um, right click yeah so now it's ungrouped and I can even move the the dot of the eye separately from the eye so if you further ungroup an individual letter that isn't that isn't fully attached you can split up the dot from the top of the eye so that's also something that you can do so I'm going to select over that and hit delete so for this one, you're going to create outlines, ungroup, and rearrange, and recolor. If you see an isolation window that pops up like this and everything goes gray, you can hit escape on the keyboard or you can go up to the top and you can click the arrow to the left to get out of it. So that's how you're gonna do that one. That is part three of this tool